Hello again. Uh, this is the fourth and probably last video in the series of learning how to uh, get up and running with puzzle script. So in this one, we are going to talk about sound effects. Uh, sound effects are in most video games, so uh, they really make them come alive. So uh, let me share my screen. And uh, what we have here is, you know, the basic starting level. Again, we're just starting from scratch. And so important things to know are this area here is where you declare all of your sounds, just like we uh, did stuff in the, the objects section and the rule section. This is the sound section. And these are going to be your sound generators right here. Okay, and they have uh, a handful of different um, types. So collect item, push, uh, explosion, you know, hurt. And it's all these, basically if I do the push one, it generates a sound effect. And then we can take that sound effect and copy it from here, go over to our sounds. And let's say we want that to play every time the player moves. For that, we would type player move and then type in the sound effect. And now if we rebuild and run, uh, we start the game. Every time we move, it makes that noise. Okay. Uh, and you could do this. The, the other way you're going to use sounds is you're going to slot them into sound effects numbers, zero through 10. Okay. And so let's say for, um, let's make this hurt noise sound effect zero. So you say SFX zero, and then you type in um, this code or you copy paste it. Okay. And then um, I'm going to clear my annotations. I'm going to quickly add a spike that uh, the player dies on when they fall on. So I'll say spike white um, s equals spike and we'll put spike on the background and we'll say um, if the player is on the same square as the spike then um, the spike is there alone. So the player dies. Uh, so we will rebuild this and we'll run it. Actually, um, we need to go to the level editor real quick so we can add a spike. And so if we test it, the player dies. Actually, the player dies on the second uh, turn after because it, it waits until after to resolve this. So to fix that, we'll put the late keyword there. We'll rebuild. Um, <clears throat> we'll put the player here. And then when we move onto the spikes, the player disappears okay, or dies, so to speak. And it, when, when the player disappears, it doesn't, we don't know that it dies, so it's a little confusing. But if we have this sound effect, perhaps that will give the player a hint. So all we do is right after the rule, we say SFX zero. Now we save it, rebuild, and now when I hit the spikes, it dies. Okay, uh, one extra thing you can do uh, when, if you want like the player to die, in addition to having um, sound effects, you can change the sprite. So uh, we can create like a new one underneath the player called player dead. And we'll make that, um, we'll make it just red and black. And we'll say like zero, one, two, three, zero, or no, uh, one, 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 zero, then one, zero, one, zero, one, then one, one, zero, one, one, uh, one, zero, one, zero, one. Basically, I'm making an X. Okay, great. Uh, and that should be fine. Okay, but it doesn't have a layer. So we'll need player dead right here. We'll copy it down to here and make it D 
for player dead. And then down in layers, it's just going to be the same layer. It doesn't really matter. So instead of it being spike, we'll have it be um, player dead. So when you land on a spike, it's going to change it to be player dead. OK? And we'll run our game, press X to start. We'll drop some spikes over here. And now when my player moves onto the spikes, it turns into the player dead. OK? There you go. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different sound effects you can make. Uh, you can even make random sound effects. And uh, it's, you know, it really makes your, your game come to life. So that's about that for this series of beginner tutorial on getting started um, with puzzle script. I made these for my students, but hopefully you all can have some, um, you know, hopefully it helps more people. So thanks for stopping by. And if you want to do anything extra, uh, maybe I can make a video describing how to do some other stuff. All right. Thanks. Bye.